Okay, in the home stretch. So, um, one of the things that we could do with snail mail campaigns, don't have to. Uh, it's expensive. You have to really look at that. If that's really, you know, the bang for our buck. But it's an idea. You know, no bad ideas. Um, there's also the ability to include some inserts or some ads in like baby magazines, bridal magazines. Sometimes those publications let you rent their list, but they'll only send it to their list is and they won't actually give you the contacts but they'll send it on your behalf uh, we could purchase ad space on some of like the above websites like you know brides magazine website or you know some of the baby dif different baby websites um, and we could also include ourselves in some of their email blasts a lot of them will sell advertising space and again there's the pixel and google remarketing retargeting those those types of things we could talk to the top purchasers, the people who, the, the most common customers, and um, maybe offer them some kind of you know, subscription perk. Maybe they could become like a vendor and they could license out some of the products or, uh, or the like. Um, one idea that, that kind of ties into is, I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of Daris, but they do a lot of these uh, prints of uh, things on like wooden boards or uh, plaques, uh, that, that type of stuff. So it could be, you could even be small uh, craft show goers. They could have the right to license and, and resell your, your items on whatever they want to print them on. Uh, if you did use printers, again, you could do the profit sharing um, and also charge. Um, companies to be your preferred vendor so when you send an email out or when when people are on your website you could have someone actually pay to be the preferred vendor for your final print design there's places like there's Dave and Buster's and uh, main event and all these other types of organizations that have birthday parties Maybe there's the opportunity to partner with those guys and uh, include an offer for anyone who signs up for free, um, you know, some kind of free enticement or something along those lines and upsell them to different types of uh, cards, etc. There's auto renew subscriptions again for the um, celebration circle. When there is any kind of third-party click or something along those lines, if we follow some of these ideas, that would be a separate landing page so we can identify uh, new categories or other things that we could put these individual leads in. And I would also offer to send a customized email version of one of these templates that, that's made let's say it is a wedding invitation or something something along those lines uh, you could s offer the purchaser to upload all the emails and you could send out a version of the template uh, to everyone in that contact list with that you're getting some free advertisement and potentially some people to click through on your website Text messaging, if you if you could get people to opt in for text messages, and again, there's various ways that we could do this, but that would be a cool addition. You could send out updates uh, along those lines, like, hey, you know, flash sale or uh, new designs, etc., just by a text. And then include a link, and people just click on that link in their, in their um, text messaging box and open up into a new browser. There's a lot of ideas I have on how you could expand the site. I'm going to touch on it a little bit uh, later, but I wanted to throw this in there that one area could be a corporate party, retirement party, or someone's hosting a big event and, and a cel celebration of uh, sales goals, those types of things. There could be social media contests, maybe for like the next design or best phrase or something along those lines. And the winner gets you know some kind of cash value, gift certificate, gift card um, to purchase items on your site or or you know a free a free copy of the final template. It's another thing we could do, and just keep upselling every single possibility that celebration circle. You remember the goal is to like quintuple the amount that uh, customers are, are currently spending. 
and that's one way to quickly get that uh, done. You can target some high-end event planners. This could be like um, a mailer, but it could also be something like a cold call. I'd, I'd want to think of something a little bit more creative than that, but there are some event planners who uh, people hire and they spend ridiculous amounts of money on uh, these, these individuals or companies. So we could maybe partner with them. There's the encouragement to try to find ways to tie in with the uh, Facebook events. We, we kind of touched on that. But the other thing, which I think is really cool, is we could create some how-to videos. So they got your design and they printed on something. But what else can they do with it? So if they have a wedding, it could be a centerpiece. Or it could be something that they put in their home. Uh, here's a way that they can print on whatever medium they want to print on. And then add some decor around it. That would be that would be a, a neat thing that would get people subscribing to YouTube channels and obviously you could throw that on Pinterest and Instagram and, and all those types of uh, places as well. It's gonna be something that doesn't really cost you anything if you if you go that route. So new categories, I have a whole list of different items on here. The craziest one is to offer or partner with someone to create some 3D prints. Again, you guys aren't really printers, but it could be something that uh, you you could think about partnering with because nobody really has that type of uh, product available, and your market would be a prime market for it. Then there's uh, the bachelor party, bachelorette parties. There could be a tire. That's a big market. Uh, People customize whatever it is they might uh, want to wear their favorite uh, um, design, etc. So the goal is to maintain 15,000 new leads a month, and we're going to want to convert those guys to 3,000 new customers per month, and, and then the cycle will begin of remarketing, etc. With the ad adwords. Uh, you know the Pinterest, the Instagram for the current followers, etc. Push the um, it, it'll organically push word of mouth. People will talk about it, and then everything revolves around analytics. You can use Google Analytics, Google Consoles. There's tons of programs out there. You guys might already have one of mine. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as you're reviewing the results, uh, the results of baby splits. How um, you know you can. Uh, adequately spend the right amount on on the respective campaigns you can write articles uh, I could write or whoever takes the position could write articles and submit them to again the any of the gamut of uh, industries we serve they they all have a magazine and subscribers so we could do that there are opportunities for some media spots, whether it be live reads, it could be podcasts, it could be local uh, markets, uh, I'm into Cleveland again, you know, they, there could be, but that you really got to analyze and, and, and hone in on to, to make sure that, that those uh, dollars are adequately spent. Spotify, Pandora, those types of places, I would invest there. You can really control it and dig down with those guys and and a lot more people are, are, are using that. They're, they're dropping satellite, terrestrial radio. Um, so that could be another resource. You got to use the data. You use it to forecast your sales, set benchmarks. There's going to be peaks and valleys. And you know, Black Friday might might be uh, a, a, high, a time of high traffic. Um, but constantly update that uh, budget for respective campaigns based on ROI and then keep reviewing other campaigns like Messenger. What's what's the response rate? Uh, how are you properly utilizing it, etc. And some other thoughts. There could be programs like HubSpot that could work out. Again, I think you guys already have an idea. All campaigns they should have an A/B split or you know similar strategies. You could break campaign out in ten different ways or more uh, just to see how they're how they're working. Um, you can use uh, Kanban or uh, similar programs just to make sure that we're all communicating and we're staying organized. That's that's a key thing. 
And uh, as I mentioned, those those stories, those testimonials, those, those are all key, regardless of the platform, print, social media, etc. You know, all those things. Uh, you got to get those warm fuzzies out there. So as I close this, you guys mentioned how important family is. And uh, I love being a dad. It's the greatest thing I've ever done. I love my kids. We do everything together. We go on so many different adventures, water parks, you know, roller coaster parks, etc. But here's me and my family, and we're having our own celebration circle. So I just thought uh, I would throw that in there because you guys are right. Family's important. Kids are only kids once, and you can never get any of these days, moments, minutes back, and they grow up so quickly. Um, I'm glad you guys appreciate that. That's that's something rare and. It's just great that that's what you're building your business upon. So with that, thank you. You know, I'm, I'm hoping to uh, look forward with you guys. I'd love to come on board. There seems to be some uh, similar thought processes from the video that I watch with Josh and from what I've seen so far. We can really kick some butt uh, together. I, I, I've been in this industry for, for 15 years. I've, I've seen and done a lot of different things. I know things that, that work, things that don't work work worth worth spending your money but you guys saw my resume and that kind of reflects it so anyways appreciate your guys' time appreciate your consideration and i'm really really hopeful that we can talk some more take care